And as an elite athlete, I'm always looking for every advantage, adding in the Aries type products, just kind of confirming it. Because a lot of times when we when we do these kind of things or when we use products like this, all right, well, it's just a placebo effect, you know? And I didn't want to just believe that it's a placebo effect, which I didn't believe that. Now seeing it, it's like, it's confirmation that like choosing to use these products and choosing to do this is like the right step because it's not only am I feeling it, but I'm also seeing it. All right, so Macy, you're gonna be putting on this lovely EEG cab. All right, here we go. Just, yeah, just put your uh, fingers there. All right, perfect, you put your fingers down. We put a little bit of electro gel on each one of these points so we have better conductivity between this electro and the scale. You feel it? Cold, yeah. How many different ones are there? Uh, so we have 20 channels here. You know, you can test a car, you can even test in your training, your fighting speed and punching power and all that stuff. Or mm -hmm. This is kind of what chance for us to see the performance of, of your brain. What does EEG stand for? So EEG stands for electroencephalogram. Neurons are like little batteries, and when they fire, they produce these electrical impulses. Mm -hmm. And the electrical impulses of all these neurons firing together produce these waves. All right, Macy, so we're looking at your brain waves here. Just do a blink real quick and see what happens. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, it dips. You see how it dips? Alrighty. Okay, so I'm staring into a space. So we're staring into space. Just keep your, let your brain just totally idle. This is just a raw baseline recording. So we, we take this, this raw EEG, and now what I do is I take all the clean strips of brain activity, and then we're able to compute uh, what's called a brain map, which basically shows pictures of your brain activity across the frequency spectrum. Okay. So you see how your brain waves, they have really nice peaks and valleys there? Yep. Your neurons are producing a lot of power. Yes. So the, the lights are bright, so to speak. Okay. So that's a good thing. Definitely a great thing, okay. yeah. It's always more to, better to have more power than not when it comes to a brain. This is true. So now, of course, the question is, is how can we make sure it's as coherent, as balanced as possible? Yeah. So you can perform with it to your best. Awesome, you can relax your eyes, right? You ready to see something pretty cool? Yes. What were your temporal lobes doing? They're like way more active, right? Take a look at your temporal lobes now. They're like way more calmed down. That's, <laughs> That's pretty crazy. wild. That's pretty crazy. All that high, super high beta voltage. Yep. It completely harmonized. Just like... So we can see at the very beginning. It's still very. Your brain's doing that kind of you see here, this is a lot of faster waves, so this yep. is high beta activity. That's crazy. And then, boom, as we're doing the recording here, we literally see those regions. Start to slow down. Start to cool off a little bit, yeah. That's incredible. That, and that kind of seems like it matches your experience too, like since using the technology, yeah. right? Yeah, for me, I feel a lot less like hypersensitive and hyperactive. Yeah. And just more in like a state of like just present. Yeah. And then the, the Aries device is just amplifying that. Yeah, I see that. Cause like when I don't have as much like activity going on, I feel like I'm able to do the other stuff a lot better. And this was just in two minutes. Yeah. As soon as you put the technology on you, we literally saw that overactivity in those temporal lobes. Start to mellow out. So here we have on the left here, we have the baseline before the Aries. Okay, so before. And then this is the after, after the Aries. Got it. So when we see green, it means a balanced amount of the frequency. Okay. If we see light blue to dark blue, it means indicates a deficiency of the frequency. If we have orange to red, it means an excess of the frequency. Okay. Okay. So you see how um, these temporal lobes are running a little hot here? Mm -hmm. So they're just producing a lot of fast wave beta and high beta. Okay. But we see here with the Aries device, it Gone. Completely smooth. That it's gone. Like. Yeah. That's insane. It's literally like you have so much red over there and then over here it's like not at all. Yeah. So this is what That's we see. Cool. So now we're just seeing, okay, you know what? In these fast wave ranges, mm -hmm. now your brain is just a bit more balanced. 
so it's a bit more stable it's a bit more control you have you'll have more control over your your mood your internal thoughts your ability to focus and not be kind of overstimulated you know yeah so that's pretty neat huh that's <laughs> i don't know how to even like put it to words other than like i have actually like you could feel a difference too and so when you feel the difference and then you see the difference and it's like all right so it's not just like a placebo effect it's like an actual there's there's a screen to prove it yeah there's actual changes in your brain activity yeah which we saw like literally within 30 seconds would having like something like the aries device having that on while you're training or while you're sparring do you think that that would help with the like still calming that down so that you are able to be more present i don't know about you but most fighters kind of they kind of, the world slows down at the same time that your mm -hmm. sensory processing speeds up. Yep. So you kind of go into that altered state. Yep, the, like the flow state. Of exactly. Yep. So if we were measuring your brain in that state, we probably would see something closer to this. Okay. So you as a high performance athlete, your brain already is able to kind of shift its state. Okay. To go into that high performance mode. Mm -hmm. And we would see your brain waves changing to match that. Mm -hmm. So you want to do what you do with numbers. You know, you collect numbers to experiences. Yep. You'd almost want to literally see your fight happening as a sequence of events that you can very visually imagine and see. So maybe you would create like almost like a sizzle reel of the fight where you could see how you want your body to respond if that happens. Okay. So you're almost building those future memories in your brain. So that way when the event happens, You've it's already like lived it, basically. Yeah. So that's fantastic to see. So we're looking at the inside look at a high performing athlete's brain, characteristic brainwave patterns that aren't your average type of brain. So today doing the brain mapping with Macy, I was able to see she has a very high functioning, fast firing brain. And even in her brain, a high performing athlete, we were able to see some really positive improvements in brainwave activity with the Aries technology. And that perhaps can just help take Macy, who's already an extremely high performer, help her get to the next level with her focus, with her recovery, with her sleep, and with her overall mental and physical resilience to help her get to the top. So that's very, very exciting. And that just lets us know if these devices work on the high performing machines, like a Macy Barber, they're definitely gonna help all of us and everyone else in between as well. So definitely, if you wanna improve your brain health, I've now tested the Aries device all the way back starting in 2016 on multiple occasions and consistently and reliably see these really positive improvements in brain activity. And remember, anything that's gonna make changes in our brain activity and how our brain fires is gonna have a powerful impact on our mental and our emotional state as well.